We're back and it's news talk for this half hour and joining us folks from the YMCA, John Elberson and Danielle Terzinski. Thank you folks so much for being here Great, because this me. is wonderful news. I'm hearing that there is a possibility that the YMCA wants another facility, wants to bring back a facility to the greater Utica area and that's wonderful. But what needs to happen in order for that step to be taken? Well, there's, there's a long answer to that question, <laughs> but I'll, I'll give you the short version. Um, we've developed a very comprehensive plan that's designed to understand truly if the community is interested in having us come to New Hartford. It's a situation where they have to embrace us, make sure that, we, that they uh, identify that they'd like us to come to New Hartford rather than us just arrive and say that we're here. So there's a, there's a process that starts with some due diligence, goes into some site development, and ultimately someday we open the doors to a new Y. Okay, so that's up to our viewers to decide. That's right. Okay, that's right. and yeah. Danielle, just to make everyone clear, you haven't actually gone away. The YMCA is still operating in the greater Utica area. That is correct. Um, the YMCA has been here in the area for about 15 years running um, before and after school programs in six different school districts. Um, and we just recently over the last few years have um, incorporated some additional youth programs, film programs, music lessons, mm -hmm. adult yoga classes. Nice. So we have been around. Yeah. So there's this community survey. It takes about five minutes to conduct, mm -hmm. about three pages long full of questions. We're going to have that linked for you at WKTV.com where you can check it out. What are some of the questions you're going to ask? Well, it's what kind of programming and what kind of services are, is the community looking for in addition to what Danielle is doing already in the school age child care program. It's important for us to understand that what we do from a full facility in our Rome and Oneida locations makes sense here in New Hartford. Okay, so let's say you decide, yes, the area wants mm -hmm. a YMCA to come back. Will this survey help you decide how big this facility is going to be and what you're going to include at it? It will, it will. This is a springboard for us to, to go to the next several stages of the, of the process that I described earlier. Um, it'll help us understand what kind of space needs, what kind of programming needs. Uh, typical YMCA's today are one, maybe two stories, 45,000 square feet, um, but the inside of those facilities is, is designed based on feedback like this that we're hoping to receive. Okay, wonderful. So again, we have that listed for you at WKTV.com where you can log on, check it out. You're only going to need about five minutes right. to complete this survey. And with that said, do you have to have kids in order to take this survey or, or benefit from the YMCA? No, not necessarily. Again, we, the, the unique part about what we do at the Y is that we support families, we support individuals, young and old. So you don't necessarily have to have kids because um, we'll, we provide programming for a wide range of, of people. Um, our, our focus is to understand what the, the residents in the greater area regardless of what their needs are, what they're hoping to do with us. Very good. And you have um, Healthy Kids Day coming up very soon, mm -hmm. right? We do have Healthy Kids Day coming up on April 25th, okay. both at our Oneida Y and our Rome Y. Okay, and maybe someday at the... I'm maybe. trying to get him to say, <laughs> trying to get him to say where yeah. this Y is going yeah. to go, but you're not yeah. going to tell me where, right? Not yet, only because <laughs> we don't officially know yet. We, we've tried not to put the cart before the horse. We, we, there's a lot of work that we have to do to make sure that this makes sense for the community. Uh, and when it does, um, we'll continue to actively search for, for a, a site that uh, hopefully the facility ends up at. Awesome. Well, guys, yeah. thank you so much for coming in and yep. filling us in. Thank Again, you. Danielle Terzinski and John Elverson here from the YMCA. And we are back with more news for you right after this.